Now, the important point, and I'm talking to you about something, you have to look at the the personal situation, whatever the situation a person is in. Then secondly, you have to look at the family situation. And then number three is you have to look at the local situation. That means the area where you are. And then number four, you have to look at the state situation. And I mentioned there are 50 states in America. Michigan is one state. And then you have to look at the national situation which is also called the federal situation. And nowadays, the federal situation means all 50 states. And then the final situation is the world situation. And the key word there is economy. What is happening to all the economies at the different levels? And you have a world economy and you have many countries. And then you have local areas of countries and all the way down to the personal situation. Well, in the United States in 1929, you had something called the Great Depression. And this meant in the whole United States at that, I don't even remember how many states at that time. I think there was something like about 48 states. 48 states at that time, four, eight. They were going through an economic depression. Now, a depression means that people lose, the people can't find jobs, they can't get money, and the government doesn't have a lot of money because of taxes, that people don't pay taxes because they don't have money. And everything goes down, economic situation goes down. And people have a horrible time just trying to buy food because they can't get jobs in factories or, say, on their farms. So if you have a farm now, if you have a farm, you can still great, you can still raise some food on a farm. But there's a problem with the farm. Sometimes you have a problem with a disease on the farm that destroys the crops. I talked about the carrots don't work. Sometimes you have you have a great disease that kills the, the farm crops. Then you got a huge problem in certain parts, not the whole country, in certain parts of the United States. You cannot grow farm, uh, farm, what are farm grains, mainly wheat. The big thing in the U.S. are wheat, wheat and oats, and I forget, grain, which grow in the ground. So in 1929, this goes back to my father now, my father graduated, well, my father's two brothers had gone into the city and got, well, actually one stayed on the farm. One brother stayed on the farm, the other brother went into the city. So three brothers, one works in the city, one works on the farm to help the father. And then my father was there. Father then graduates from high school. Well, there was not enough work on the farm. So my father cannot work on the family farm. And my father has got to find a job. This is my father I'm talking about. He's eight years old. He just graduated from high school. And this is the problem you have, what you call an economic problem. And it was called the Great Depression. And that was across the United States. That meant you know, some of the farms were not growing crops and the factories didn't work and people could not find jobs. Now, if you want to look at that in history now, notice the word history, you look at the two words, Great Depression. Great Depression. And it started in 1929 and you have companies that have stock. People buy parts of the company, it's called stock, and they invest money. And there's a Great Depression in the whole country, in the whole 48 states at that time. There's a Great Depression. And people cannot get jobs, and they cannot grow food. There's not enough food grown. And what do people do? Well, you had two things happen. Number one, the man is the father, and he was responsible for making the money 
to get a job somewhere, to make money, to buy food, or to live on his farm and grow food. Well, the man is wandering around the country trying to get money to send back to his family. Now, who's taking care of his family at his home? Well, the mother is there at that time. The mother stayed home at that time. The mother stayed home. Most of the women, not all, most of the women are mothers and stayed home and took care of the family. And the man had a job and during the daytime, sometimes nighttime, and sometimes all night, depending on the jobs. And the man makes the money and the woman takes care of the families. Now, some families then had many children, many children. And so you had a, what we call a division of labor. Well, there's a problem now. The man can't find a job. He can't make the money to send back to his wife at home taking care of his kids. So the men are wandering all around, around the country. And there are many movies about this. Many movies about this. I've seen many movies, American movie, movies about the Great Depression. And some of them are very good. And the problem is the man is just wandering around. He's the father but he, he doesn't have a farm. He works in some company, and the company doesn't work anymore. So he has no job, he has no money. So he's wandering around trying to do what we call part-time jobs, and he would come up to a farm, and to a farm, because that's important. He would come to a farm, not a city, because in the city or town, you had people that were working in companies and in the companies didn't have, companies were broke. No companies are working. They would be out wandering the country in the farmland. And the farm, some farms are still growing crops, some farmlands. And so the man would come up to a farm and he would knock on the door. And this is one man alone. And he is marking at the door and he says, uh, if I do some chores for you, simple jobs, will you give me some food and some money? Now, the, the food is for himself, and the money is, if the, pre, pe, per, per, excuse me, if the people had some money, give them a little money that he can send back to his family somewhere, his, his wife, to take care of his family and children. And now there's a huge problem now. Because of the Great Depression, he destroyed the economy. Now listen carefully. This is extremely important. This is history. You got a government there. Now the government basically, the government basically means it is an organization in Washington, D.C., which is the federal capital of all 48 states at that time, and people pay taxes. And they pay taxes on, on their farms and they pay taxes on their land and they pay taxes, that's T-A-X-E-S. And that's money paid to the government. Then the government has some people working in Washington, D.C., which is the national capital. It's on the East Coast, south of New York City, south of Boston, and this is the national government that takes care of the whole country. The whole country called the United States. It was from the Atlantic all the way over the Pacific, from Canada down to Mexico, 48 states. Well, you got a huge problem there. Huge problem. The problem is the government does not get enough taxes from people working to pay a government expenses. And also you got a lot of citizens citizens, American citizens, having problems making enough money to, to buy food and to produce food. And that's why a lot of people who had jobs in the cities, in the cities now, they were working in offices, they were working in factories, and then the factories shut down and they go back to the farmland. And they might go back to their farm and work on their farm, but if they couldn't get enough money there, they would leave the farm and look around. So people are wandering around because it's called 
a problem with lack of money, not enough money. So my father graduated in 1932, 1932. And the problem was in Michigan, as a state, in the whole state of Michigan, there was a problem. You did not have enough money going to the state government of Michigan, and in Michigan, sending money to the state, to the uh, national government, to give money to people to buy food. And people were growing food, but sometimes they could not grow enough food. So there's a question now here. What do you do now? Well, I have to back up a moment. This is 1932. You have national elections now. National elections is politics. Every four years, you have a new government that is set up in each in, in national government, D.C. Now, each state every two years has the state government. So two years and four years. But the problem is in Washington, D.C., they don't have a lot of money. They don't have a lot of money. So what do the people do, the people that are starving to death? Well, you've got two ways you can handle it. Number one is you could do stuff that is illegal. Now there's something called the mafia, M A. Uh, M-A-F-I-A, -A, Mafia. Mafia basically was a group of Italian criminals in America who came and were doing a lot of things that were crimes. Now at that time, you had, starting in 1920, backing up a moment, in 1920, you had alcohol, drink, alcohol, declared illegal. It means you cannot... You cannot manufacture, sell, or transport alcohol. Now, if you look at history, this was incredibly stupid. Notice what I said. Stupid. Because people like to drink alcohol. Notice what I said. People like to drink alcohol. So it started in 1920. So across the country, you're not supposed to make manufacture alcohol, or then transport it, move it, or then number three, drink it. Well, this was a very stupid, I use that word again, stupid. It means not well thought about idea. And you had at that time some people, particularly women, particularly women were against, they were against saloons. Saloon is a place where men go basically various places to drink alcohol and it was basically drink alcohol for men it was a place mainly for men to drink alcohol and then talk and you get a lot of information this is the place that men go and the women came out and then women were talking about this for several decades they want to stop people mainly men drinking alcohol because there was one problem, many men would go to their jobs in the city, in the city now, and they would get their paycheck and then they would go to the saloon and they would pay for alcohol and they would stupidly spend the money and there's no money for the women with the children at home. Now this is all true history now. This is what is called true history, T-R-U-E, means that is the way it happened. So the women were pushing for many decades, something like 30, 40 years, to declare that alcohol is illegal. You cannot make it, transport it, it means move it, and manufacture it, and then drink it. It's wrong. And if you're caught, you can be thrown in jail, put in jail. So they had this start in 1920. Well, in the Great Depression, which started basically in roughly the same time, in the 1920s, you got a huge problem. And what is the problem? Very simple. Because many men, and also some women, wanted to drink alcohol. Drink it. Now you have a word called drink 
and then you have another word called drunk. A drunk is a person that drinks a lot of alcohol, can no longer think straight, and stupidly may spend money. And so, because many men would stupidly drink and then spend all the money, the women at home had all kinds of problems paying for their home and family. Notice again, stupid men. The men are too stupid to go home and give the money to their wives to take care of their family. Well, the women organized across the states over a number of decades. Decades means a period of 10 years. And it declared illegal. It declared illegal. But there's a but here now. But the question is, did it stop? Did it stop drunken men drinking? No, it didn't. And also women would also sometimes go out and get drunk. It did not solve the problem. This is why I call it stupid. It had a problem and the women came and said, do this, this is the solution. Well, the solution was horrible. Horrible solution. So my father graduated in 1932 and the depression was still there. And so my father could not find a job. He's 18 years old. He's a high school graduate, but nobody will hire him. No office will hire him. No company will hire him. He's 18 years old. He's willing to work. Now, this is all true history. I'm giving you my family's history, but it's all across the country. So, he, so what does he do? Well, he can't find a job. Nobody will give him money. He can't make money to send home to his family in the city. And so, well, now this is something called politics now. This is a new word, politics. Politics is how governments are basically run, how a country is run on politics. And I mentioned you have a president elected every four years, that's politics. And the state governor is elected every two years. And then congressmen, that means representatives and senators in a national government. Then each state has both senators and congressmen, Congress in each state. So what you have is a problem now. You got a problem now. You've had, you had a Great Depression going on for several years and the, the federal government has a huge problem. Well, you had an election. Now, this is history now. Make this it is short. Cut now? Mm, make it short. Ending. Okay. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about this over the next part.